And welcome on a big night here at Goodison Park. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Everton facing Leicester City. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. Number two, John Joe Kenny. Number six, Allen. Number 21, Andre Gomez. Number 16, Abdele Decore. Number 24, Anthony Gordon. And here's how Everton line up. Asmir Begovic is the goalkeeper. Seamus Coleman starts alongside Michael Keane in central defence. Alan starts with Andre Gomes in central midfield. And the striker of choice is the powerful, combative Salomon Rondon. Well, here's how Leicester City will line up. Well, it's a 4-4-2, but with a slightly advanced central midfield player whose job it is to support and run beyond the strikers. The other midfield players are compact, so the full-backs will be asked to break forward at the right time. Thank you, Gerson Park. Enjoy the game. A game that should have plenty to say for itself. Leicester City with the kickoff. Barnes. Soumare. Madison and pushed onto the woodwork. Madison, that's great goalkeeping. Well, what a save that is. He was so alert there. He's driven in the corner, making sure nothing untoward happened. All Brighton. Sumare. Tielemans. Chance maybe. Able to clear the danger, at least for now. Well, there to intercept. Madison, just cutting off the supply. Alan. Gordon. John Joe Kenny. Moving the ball nicely, looking for that final pass. Oh, a fine block. And foul it is then. And he whips it in. It comes to absolutely nothing. Rondon. It's with John Joe Kenny. Gray. Godfrey. Andre Gomes. And he's taken it away. Ducure. Gray now. And unable to pick out a teammate. And that'll be a throw. Chowdhury. 
Here's Tielemans. Lukman. Harvey Barnes. Made it a bit too easy for his opponent. Must take the lead here. And they have. You've got to say, it has been coming. Well, just look at the setup here. It's such a clever backhill. And then what a strike. That's it with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. And Everton get the ball rolling once more. Let's find out how they're going to react to the setback. Gomes. Here's Tielemans. James Madison. All the way through to the keeper then. Tielemans on the ball, Yannick Vestergaard Sumare here's Tielemans it's a good Leicester move in the making but nothing comes of it and the counter looks on here options available into the advanced position Well, approaching the half-time whistle and Everton facing a deficit in this one. Stuart, how would you sum up what you've seen from them so far? Well, it's been a tight first half so far, but they haven't quite shown enough guile in the attacking third. If, however, they can be more dynamic in the 1v1 situations, they have the quality to turn this around. Let's get the latest on the injury situation from our pitch side man, Jeff Shreves. He landed really heavily on his shoulder there. You can see the discomfort he's in. He's a tough guy. I think he'll carry on. Cheers, Jeff. Tielemans. Now with Perez. Leicester now in a potentially dangerous position. Dangerous looking attack. Can he convert? They're using his body to good effect. Ducure. And on the ball, Keane. Gomes. Looking for that final pass and for that chance to level the game. Lukman. And with that, the first half draws to a close. Well, James Madison certainly was influential in the first 45. Sum up his performance for us. Well, it was certainly a good first 45 minutes for the lad. Obviously, he got his goal to put them in front, but he's looked lively throughout too. Hopefully, we see more of him in the second half. So into the second half, can Everton battle back after that first 45? Alan. Gordon. Really good challenge. James Madison. On to Perez. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. giving it away oh a perfectly timed pass and pushed onto the woodwork and the keeper put to the test but he comes through it well he's so sharp isn't he great first save and then the recovery well sitting deep like this might be a dangerous game 
A good and fair challenge. John Joe Kenny. Alan. Rondon. Andre Gomes. Possession and patience, the watchwords. And it was a good looking sequence, but it comes to an end. Tielemans. James Madison. Sumare on the ball. And scope for them to produce something exciting. And the referee felt he had to blow the whistle. Well, just a warning on this occasion. Might have decided to hand out the yellow card. Substitution for Everton. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. And deep into the penalty area and foiled only by the crossbar. And behind it's gone for a corner. <laughs> Who can he pick out? Well, nearly shaving the post with that header. Keen. Townsend. Kenny. How about the cross? But dealt with efficiently. Well, the crowd are doing their bit. Can they find the equaliser here? And time for the change now. Number 21, Andre Gomez, to be replaced by number 25, Jean-Philippe Gavamin. Can he deliver it with accuracy? It didn't happen for them. Excellent challenge. To the owner of the green convertible car, the green convertible car, by Jose Perez. Leicester now in a potentially dangerous position. This looks promising. Space and time for the cross. Can he make it count? In it goes! But wait a minute, that will not count. Well, that was tight, but he was just offside. It was a good finish, though. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Kenny. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Rondon. Well, knocked on the target. The keeper seemed to have it covered. Well, he did seem to have it covered, but it's not a bad effort, though. He really did strike it well. Well, there's the confirmation. That was nowhere near to crossing the line, was it? Tielemans. And into the last 15 minutes of action. A foul it most certainly was. Free kick given. Substitution for 
substitution. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Number 33, Solomon Rondo, coming onto the pitch. Number 28, Jack Tosin. He's played it short here. They've regained possession. Well, just listen to these Everton fans. They're driving their team forward here. Well, in the closing stages, and Everton are up against it in terms of the scoreline, Stuart. Well, it's been tight, but they've lacked a cutting edge. They've done well at the back and in midfield, but the final pass, the shot of cross, have lacked that bit of quality. Can they find that missing link in these final few minutes? Delivering it. And they couldn't take advantage of the chance. They've got to be really mindful of the time situation, attacking though they might be. And you need your defender to take charge. Can he play it in? Townsend delivered into the area here pretty comfortable piece of defending Vestergaard Sumare on the ball Harvey Barnes well wait don't go anywhere we're going to have five additional minutes Fruitful looking attack. And there is the goal! He's found the net! Joy unconfined! Well, just watch this again. A change of pace, a change of direction, and a decent finish. That's a very good goal. So, 2-0 now. Couldn't find a teammate. Throw in here. Barnes. And there goes the final whistle. No cause for celebration in the Everton camp. A defeat for them here. What did you make of it? You're absolutely right, Derek. They really struggled to get to grips with the game. They always seem second to the ball, and then just a few mistakes at the back, and it's cost them. Poor performance all round. But it just seems in this game, he's been a step ahead of his opponents in every way, Stuart. Yeah, he'll be happy coming off the pitch. He worked hard, he was always involved in the game, and he scored a very good goal. That was an impressive performance today.